What's going on? I'm Mike Mastone. This is the towel grip rehab, rehab secret. So I decided to use a, a towel. It's very simple. It's in every AT room. Um, I'm going to start with a smaller towel, a very low friction surface, smooth surface, treatment table, things like that. And uh, no weight attached. All I want to do is I'm focusing on the flexors of the fingers. So I'm focusing on the flexor digitorum profundus, flexor digitorum superficialis, and uh, the lumbricals as well. And uh, so basically what I, want, what I want the patient to do is just have their hand right here on the table. Wrist is in neutral, so I don't want to kick in too much wrist flexion because we just want to focus on the finger flexion. So wrist in neutral, thumb is off the table. I don't want to involve the, uh, any of the flexor polycus or abductor polycus, anything like that. So what I'm going to have them do to start with is just have them right here. You can start with all four digits, you can even do, you can even go down to one digit if you want to. So I'm just gonna have them curl the towel up into their hand like this. So we're getting flexion at the DIP, the PIP, as well as the MCP joints. So just curling the towel up, bringing it closer and closer, all the way till they run out of towel. And at the end I'm gonna have them grip it and hold that for five seconds. Get that iso isometric contraction of the, uh, the finger flexion and the grip, the interosseous bone muscles as well. So the way that she progresses, you can make a longer towel. You can have change the speed of how far it has to do it, or you can even add a weight. So for instance, you can add a book. This book's a little heavy, but we're gonna fire it up. So same thing, we're just gonna have a grip and pull. Just like that. So again, flexion of all three joints. Wrist is remaining neutral. Pull it, pull it, and hold, 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 hold. And then relax and do it again. So sets and reps depend on what you're trying to do. Um, but this is, this is a great exercise for uh, if they have like a jammed finger, sprains of any of the, the finger ligaments, such as like the volar plate or the collateral ligaments, trying to regain that flexion, it helps with active range of motion of, the, uh, of all the finger joints, the MCP, PIP, and D, DIP. So uh, yeah, it helps, it helps a lot with uh, regaining motion and strength after a finger fracture, things like that. So I wouldn't do this if the person currently has a fracture. Uh, things like carpal tunnel because of those we know those two flexures go right through that carpal tunnel so kind of engage them might inflame that a little bit more so we want to stay away from that but um on that i think it's a great exercise for grip strength and regaining that motion in the fingers